Hello everyone. Thank you for coming today. Thank you very much for coming today for this cause. Um, Jackie Nanyonjo was well known to me right from Uganda before I came to the UK. And I was so surprised to find her in the UK when I joined Movement for Justice. That was the time when I got out of detention. Um, and she told me everything that happened to her and that, that led to her coming to the UK. And I wasn't surprised because I was in the same, I, I, was, I, I fell under the same category because we, we, we all ran out of Uganda for the fear of our lives. She was a lesbian and a Mukai man from Uganda. Uh, Jackie was taken into detention and given the first flight in December 2012. However, she bravely managed to fight off that plane. And when she got back to Yarlswood, she told me, um, she explained to me all the, all the pain she was feeling in the chest because of the force that, were, that was exerted on her as the, the escorts were trying to force her to get onto that flight. And she managed to um, hand in further evidences to the UKBA which were all resisted, which were all rejected. And as a result of that reject, Jackie was given a second flight in January 2013. And it was on this flight that Jackie tried to resist the second time. But this time around, she was overpowered by the four escorts. And when she, when she was deported, when she reached Uganda, I managed to speak to her on the phone right from the first day she was deported and she explained to me everything that was done to her on the plane and I couldn't I couldn't avoid crying because whatever she went through I've gone through I was in detention for five and a half months I was forced on flights four different times but I managed to escape those flights I know how those escorts look like masicular tall men you can never even think of fighting against but the fact that she managed to fight them the first time and she even tried fighting them the second time shows that she was a true fighter. Yes. She feared for her life. Yes. She never wanted to go back to Uganda yes. because she feared for her life. Yeah. Why would the UKBA try to deport such a person yeah. who is fighting for her life? Exactly. She was strangled by the neck as the other escorts were trying to fold her head to put, her, to put it in between her legs. Imagine such pain. By the time she was dragged at the airport in Uganda, she was vomiting blood. She couldn't speak like, like the normal Jackie I knew before. She was only whispering. She told me she couldn't, she couldn't talk properly again. She had lost her voice because they tried to strangle her. And since then, she's never been the same again until the time she died. She told me she, she experienced so much chest pains because they tried to, 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 to fold her and, and, uh, and I think they, they, they caused a lot of damage around the chest area. And there is no doubt that this caused Jackie's death. The UKBA are greatly responsible for Jackie's death. With no doubt. The system and business, the system and business of deporting gay and lesbians back to their countries to force torture from the countries they, they, they escaped is really so unfair. We have to fight for justice. I thank everyone who has come here today. I thank the movement for justice for the support and the fight. Fighting for both the dead and the alive. We have to keep fighting. We shouldn't give up. We, 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 have to, we have to fight for, for, for the right to live openly and love as gay and lesbians in this country. Thank you very much for coming on. UKBA guilty of murder! UKBA! people the state has been willing to just to kill or let die 
So many people that they force and beat just to deport them, inject just to deport them. We know right here in Britain how many deaths in custody, how many people have been beaten by the police. There isn't justice, but we have to make justice. We are putting the UKBA on trial in front of the court of public opinion because if we want to stop this from happening to the next person and the next person and the next person, it is going to take building a mass, mass militant movement led by the people, all of us here led by the oppressed, the people, asylum seekers, refugees, the black and Asian communities, the people who face violence in their home, in their communities, the people who want to stand up and fight. It is time to get together and fight because we know what justice is and we are here to fight for it. We don't need to wait for the courts to run around in circles. We put our case forward, but we also know we have to fight and build our movement. That is what Jackie stood for, and every picture where you see around here, that is the Jackie. This is the Jackie that we know. This was Jackie outside Luna House, fighting, standing up for the women still trapped and being held imprisoned in Yarlswood, who are fighting for their freedom, fighting for simple justice, fighting to even be heard. Jackie was the energy on that demonstration and she knew that she was in a fight and she knew every step of the way that she was in a fight for her life. They may have taken Jackie's life but, but this is Jackie. We know her and we are here to speak. I welcome everyone and thank you for, for coming. And I want to just start with the point of Africa or Asian or American Latin. Who cares? Home of it doesn't care where we come from. Only thing they care of is to send us back to the exactly. countries where we came yes. from. Yes. So yes. Let's, yes. And the only thing yes. we're fighting for and the only thing we want is to stop home office to keep in sending us to our death. Yes, yes, yes. So, soon as they send you back, they don't care what's happened to you after. Only thing they want is send you back and put it on their record and be hired or whatever. Listen. To all the immigrants who are here, doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter which state you, uh, they put you in, doesn't matter which category you're in, you are here to be sent back. Metropolitan is a good example. Those people paying their money to come to this country. Those people paying their money to study in this country, but they still been sent back. Uh, asylum seekers, you are in the cutting edge. It's a society we want to be in. It's a society who respect the quality. It's a society who want to be in an uh, eco, an eco society that we fighting as a movement. That's the what the movement for justice doing. Because I'm the one. This is the second time I face. I see someone who's died, who home of his uh, kill. Uh, this is the second time home of his killing people I witnessed. People who I know, people who I know, is they die because home of his uh, did kill them. I don't can't. Have no one heard about it. They say nothing about it. So this is a movement that are uh, ready to fight, to tell the society, tell the people who are in the country and outside the country to know what's happening, because the British we living in, no, not the people, but the system. Is a racist. It's an anti-gay uh, system. It's a system that oh, not just don't want us, but they want us dead. Yes. So, uh, uh, as a as a people, as a people, we don't. I don't want to start. I want to fight and get to the system. I know if the system change, Somalia will change, Senegal will change, American Latin will change. Everywhere is change. I'm not fighting because I'm Senegalese, but I believe there's something that will happen in Senegal. I fight to change it what this system want for us because I know is know what is good for us. So thank you very much for listening to me. Um, thank you. Hello everyone. I'm so happy to see you to stand here as, together because of a friend and sister and a relationship. 
are standing here have got a pain because I'm an African lady. I'm coming here to seeking freedom. Why they're trying to kill us as African people? Why? I'm seeking freedom here. Why home office? They are treating us like we are animal. We are not animal. They are looking the animal better than us. Why? British people coming to our country. We are coming here because they are used to coming our country. No anyone treating them bad. Our sister is struggling. Why they are treating like we are animal? Sister is dying because of them. Why home office is not treating us like a people? I know Jackie from Uganda. I'm Uganda as well. Myself, I was politician, LC3, women's leader. Jack, I know her because she's the one who presented me to go on the council. Please, we are seeking to be together. Please, no worry because you are lesbian, no worry because you are gay. You have to stand in to get a freedom in this country. Look in our country, they are killing us. We come here to seeking freedom. We need protection from home office. We need protection from police. Why the police, when they arrested us, they are treating us like animals. They are killing so many people. I'm sorry to be upset because I'm not happy. I'm crying every day because I know Jackie. She loves the children. She loves the children. One is going to be university. They don't have anyone who can help her. She came here to seek whatever she can help her children. Whatever change to be a lesbian, no matter to kill her, you should listen to her. Please, please, we are happy all together with brother and sister to come and help us. Please, we need help, more help. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. UKBA was responsible for her death. The UKBA guilty of murder. It's not simply the guards who should be, we believe, should be in jail. It's not simply the accomplices to murder, Qatar Airlines and Reliance Security. The fundamental responsibility lies with the UKBA, the Home Office, Theresa May, and the policies of the British government.